Hello everyone, this is Sheldon again. Welcome back to LSE Tutorials. Today I will talk about the UI Print Interaction Controller, which we can use to do the air print in our iOS devices. Okay, so let's get started. And um, so first, let me drag a button to our view controller. So we have the button here, and let's also make an image view to show the image that we wanted here. Okay. So to make it clear, I think it's better to change the background color of the image view to be um, light gray here. And um, we can, because I prepare one image called home loan here, so we can show the image in our image view. OK, so we can also choose um, the image view to be aspect fit. So in this case, the image will not expand to fill all the image view. So if we run the project, we can see what's going to be in the simulator is we're showing this area in our iPhone 6 simulator, which will include one button on the top and one image view. Okay, so let's drag a IB outlet for the button. It's called print button tag. Change it to action. And also let's change the title here to be print. And also let's drag an IB outlet for the image view. OK, we can turn this off and go back to the view controller.swift file. And let's create one more function called print image. And then we can call this function if we hit the button. And in this function, we will write our code. So we need to create one print controller using U, um, UI print interaction controller. Because this is a singleton class, so we need a shared printer controller. So also, we need to create another property called user no print info it's pretty like the user info of a local notification or something um, so eventually we're gonna set the print controller dot print info is equal to that thing so um, it's called UI print info inside of this we're gonna have a dictionary And uh, first, let's set it to be new. Now we can do something on the print info. So print info dot job name is equal to print uh, image image print info dot um, output type is equal to photo because we are printing a photo. So next we need to do one more thing on the print controller. So it's print controller dot item. So it's printing item is equal to the image. So what we're gonna do is using the image view dot image. In this case, we are printing the image. So inside of the printing item, you can choose either NS data 
or NSURL or UIMH or ALA, ALA set, which is basically we use uh, for the music file in the player a lot. Okay, and so we need one more line to present the view controller here. It actually, it's not a view controller, so you cannot self.present view controller. Instead, you need to do this print controller present animated. In here, you can set it as true to be animated, and you can always also have a completion handler here. So there will be three properties or parameters here you need to set. The, we don't need the first one. For the second one, we can use is that is printed. Third one is just ns arrow. So if arrow is new, if is printed, we're gonna show um, something in the log says image is printed else we're gonna show image is not printed if we run this um, if we run our project we're gonna see the result in the simulator of iPhone 6 We hit print, it will print, present this view controller and it will show the image here and we can select the printer here. Um, so because we're, we're not connecting to any real printer, but as we all know we can use some hardware from Apple. Yeah, so we have to go to this website. I'm sorry that I cut part of the video here to avoid showing my uh, email ID and basically the website here is developer.apple.com slash downloads slash so you, you need to log your Apple ID before you jump to this page so uh, we can find uh, the printers here using this hardware IO tools for Xcode 7.3 and you, you can install this DMG file so finally it's downloaded and let's hit the DMG file and it's gonna be showing all the tools so one of them is printer simulator if you double click this and open it will show this log and after it shows this log you will be able to Go here and actually you can directly go to a simulator and select printer. And now we have a list of these printers. We can select anyone and hit print. It will pop up one image in PDF format. So this means you successfully print printed this image. Alright, I think this is it. Um, so today we showed how can we use the UI print interaction controller to use the AirPrint from Apple. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye.